Okay guys, so in this one, we're actually gonna show you how to email people from Gmail. Uh, Gmail is a free service, that's why we're using it for this one. Um, there will be future ones where we actually put your domain instead of Gmail, uh, but for now, just use Gmail and follow this along a little bit. Um, of course, you wanna put your password in there and also your email, not mine. Uh, this is also a good time to put in admins. So you can put your name and your email here. Um, this is for errors when you go live. So if there's errors, any issues or something like that, it will send you uh, an email about those errors because when we take this debug off, uh, which we will do, um, you still need to see those errors. So those will be sent to, to your email and that's how you activate it. All right, so now we wanna actually send a message when we complete a form or when a user completes a form. So the first thing we need to do is import the ability to actually do so. So we do django.core.mail import send mail. Okay, so send equals send mail. And then it gives you um, kind of a guide here as to what to do. So subjects, the first one message is the second one. So the actual message who it's sent from and who it's sending to uh, all these other things you don't have to worry about for now. Um, and so subject will do message or actually we sh shouldn't say message. We'll say joined from MVP landing. And then the message could be, let's say person, put a space there plus uh, new join dot, I think it's full name plus and then we're gonna put a break here. That's a line break. And then email, or that's a that's a line break, so it's not all on one list. It's kind of like hitting enter. Um, and then we wanna do new join.email. So we're getting their name and their email. Um, let's actually go back into our models to make sure that those are right. So we're getting this one, we're getting this one, and you know what, let's get the timestamp too. Um, so, we add another one, timestamp, and it will be, whoops, not that. It will be plus new join dot timestamp. Okay, and now the from email, I'm just gonna make it a string of new join dot email, so who it's being sent from, and then we wanna do who we're gonna send it to, so put your email in here. Um, you can put a lot of other people's email in here too. You can put a nice long list in there. Um, that's okay. And close off that last parentheses. Okay, cool. So that is how your message is actually gonna be sent. It'll be sent exactly like that. So if, um, if it's sent, so if send, um, then we can send another email or we can do print, yay, it sent. Um, you know, you can printing yay it sent actually is pretty useless. So we can even do send mail, mail sent would be the subject. And then we can say MVP works. And then we can say uh, it's from, uh, wait, I don't have to turn it out. It's from coding for entrepreneurs at gmail.com. And it's going to jmitchell3 at gmail.com. Uh, we could do that. Uh, so that's actually sending a whole nother email saying basically the email worked, now I'm gonna send another email. Uh, you don't actually have to do that. You could just go, oh, well, if it's gonna work, so, so should that. And that's fine too. That will send both of those emails. Uh, but the first one, with this in here, this basically ensures that at least that first email sent and now the second one will as well. So yeah, that is sending email. Of course you can use this over and over again. And remember new join uh, is just from that form. So it's really just taking uh, the information that's coming through to that form. And that was based off of a model, right? So it's based off of a model so you can call all of this information as well um, when you're actually writing that view. 
So that's how we were able to do that timestamp there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, we will see you in the next one.